Well, for those who weren't inside with us who might want to know, it didn't take very long for them to say no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we did get an apology. We did get, I'm sorry. Our yeah, name said and, sorry. And we did ask. We took the time to ask if they would at least put us in a database so, like, we actually existed. You know, we handed our paperwork over, and the lady was very gracious, and she, you know, re referenced the code that said she couldn't do this. and. And it was great because Sally said, well, what about tomorrow? <laughs> um, and, she, and she said, yeah, I don't think so. She said she didn't know. She didn't know. She said, I'm an act of God in the next week. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you just never know when these things might happen. Um, but they were, the, the folks in, you know, in the office were nice. Um, they did take the time to write denied. Um, and the, the, the paper it wasn't what mattered. <sighs> There's five couples that went up there today. There's thousands of couples in the South, most of whom are not in a safe space that they could have walked up and asked for a denial today and done it in a public fashion or a public forum, um, even if they did have this massive awesome support. <laughs> <laughs> because as most of you know, besides the fact that the southern states have kindly passed constitutional amendments against um, marriage equality. There aren't southern states that have passed any protections for any of us so that we might not be fired solely for being gay. So there are plenty of people who cannot stand at that counter safely, um, who might not have to be worried about losing their job. Um, but this is about this is about families. This is about health insurance benefits. This is about being able to be in a hospital room with the person that you spend your life with. This is about um, this is about inheritance tax. This is about insurance. This is about um, this is about the fact that we. I wore a uniform and served our country. Sally has three kids who served on active duty, two of their spouses served on active duty, two of them went to West Point, much to my chagrin, because I went to the Air Force Academy. <laughs> <laughs> I told them the Air Force deploys to the hotels and the Army deploys to tents, but they didn't listen. <laughs> um, but we served our country, and we served so that people could have all the freedoms and all the rights that the Constitution was written for. And we're not second-class citizens. And we're not really about being in your face. Um, but we're about saying, I'm here. Um, I'm the doctor that fixed your kid's broken arm in the ER. Um, you know, Sally may have been the soccer mom carpool. You know, get everybody to soccer. Make sure you have those orange slices. Um, uh, you know, we're your next door neighbor. We pay our taxes. We have jobs. When the ambulance shows up at our house to take one of the two of us to a hospital, the other one should get to be able to go. We've been together for, for 15 years, but there's folks in this room who've been together a lot longer than we have, and they deserve all the same rights that that word marriage gives us under the federal law. And that's why we're all here. But the coolest thing is the group of people who showed up today to stand with us. We didn't go stand at that counter by ourselves, as scary as it was, as much as it felt like coming out day again. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, you know, everybody here doesn't care. You don't hate us just because. Um, I was as nervous as 10, 11 years ago when we had a commitment ceremony. And Sally said, well, I still feel really calm. And, she, and I said, that's exactly how it was. Like, <laughs> <laughs> After six kids, this is not. <laughs> <laughs>